Hey everybody, I'm back. So what I did, anyway, when this was warping and I heated it up, I just uh, put it on this board, put a couple screws in there, let it cool off. It'll be fine once I get this. It wasn't that much, just it kind of had a little droop in the center. But I let this set up to where it's sticky, but it's not leaving any resin on my fingers. Okay? Now here's the trick, you put another coat of resin on there and you just work it in. See now that it's kind of, that first coat's kind of set up, it has uh, filled the voids. You know what I mean? And it, it won't soak up no more now. Nothing else will soak up. So we just want to go back over it. Now what we're doing is we're filling them pinholes. And we're filling every one of them. Every one. And this ain't it. There's one more trick to this after this step. Okay? Now just work it in a little bit. Just kind of go over it with your spreader. This don't take very much resin. But just work it in. Leave it on there kind of thick. And then scrape it back off. Scrape off all your excess. And we'll just let that set up overnight. Then I'll come in here and put a new X-Acto in my blade. And I can just trim right around the edge. Leave it nice. It'll, 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 if you got resin past your edge, it'll leave a nice, smooth, crisp corner. If you don't have resin out on your edge, it'll fray the glass. You know, and it'll look bad. Take lots of priming and sanding and filling. Uh-uh. Okay, that's all there is to it. That is the trick. But it took me a long time to get that perfected. Scrape it down. We don't want to leave any ridged up anywhere. Now, if you wait too long to do this, what will happen? If you wait like all night and let that resin set all the way up, you'll end up with fish eyes all over it. Oh, it'll just be plump terrible. So there is a, a you know, pretty tight little window. You can't do that and wander off. You got to sit there with it. But once you get used to your resin and, and the temperature, because you see this will set up uh, faster in warm weather than it will cold. So, you know, once you use it, you know, you get to using it, you do a couple parts, you kind of know when it's setting up. And you can just look at your clock, you know, and know how much time you got. But just mix little amounts, you know, you'll end up wasting a bunch of it. And, uh, okay, now that... That's done. I'm gonna show you something. Wham! It's just like one of these cooking shows, isn't it? Okay. Now this, this one I did yesterday. You can find me a razor right here. And uh, that one I did yesterday. Put two coats on it and just trimmed the edges. That's all I did. Now this is one of them single edge razor blades. It's best to use a new, a new one. This will actually dull them blades pretty good. But you just hold it straight up like that. Just it. Well you see, you see what I'm taking off? You see that? 
Let me see if I can get. Yeah, you see what I'm taking off? It's just like a a flaky powder. But when you sand this cloth, you actually get in there and cut them fibers. And this don't do that. And man, I wish you guys could feel that. That is just as smooth as a baby's bottom. And pretty much pinhole free. One coat of primer, this will look good. And I'll sand it. And another coat of primer, bam, sand it, that's ready to paint. No pinhole filling. And that's all there is to that. But anyone that's got a glassing project to try, try my method. I guarantee you'll like it. I'll show you on the SR71 on bigger stuff when Dad gets his ready. You should be getting kind of close. But that ain't all. I've got some other stuff going on. Move my chair here. I uh, kind of been working on my air cylinder stuff a little bit. This is, uh, you know, the air cylinder I'm using. Oh, let me zoom back out of that. Okay, and I was telling you guys about that well colors. I'll put one on that shaft. See, what you want to do is when your door is fully opened, that's fully extended, you mount that where you need to. Okay, and I put me one of them deals on there, and this is kind of, I got a bunch of these aluminum pieces. I'm going to screw them onto my doors, okay? And when you come down, you don't really want to let this air cylinder just pull on that door. It'll break stuff. You put 100 pounds of air in this thing, and it's, something's going to break. So what I do is I put me a wheel collar on the, on the end, and I can adjust that and make it to where that door closes tight, but there's no pressure really pulling hard on this stuff and uh, breaking stuff. And that's a pretty good method right there. Especially, you know, some air cylinders, you can make it to where they bottom out both ways. And, uh, you, can, you know, you can just use this for your small adjustments. But sometimes when you install these things, you end up with uh, too much throw. And uh, so you go fully extended and get you, find out where you want it. And then when it's closing, if it's actually closed and you still got air cylinder left, there will collar on there. Keep it from breaking stuff. But I got all these things. Man, you want to, I needed 20 of them for all these air cylinders. I want to show you guys this. This is just plum nuts almost. Look at the price of that. 30 bucks a package. My goodness. And I got them. I picked up a couple packs of hinges. These are just um, Debro heavy duty quarter scale. I think these might work pretty good. I can maybe put four or five of them alongside each door. They're pretty stiff plastic. I don't know, I'm going to experiment. And then I got these Robart pin hinges. I'm going to do some experimenting the rest of this week and uh, figure out what I want to do. I want something rugged, something ain't going to look too bad, and uh, will hold up and not cause us any problems. Oh, I want to show you guys this. That's my Christmas present. Look at that. Who can tell what that is? That's me sitting in the B1 cockpit. Remember when we went to Dias? Uh, somebody loves me. They put my picture on that coffee cup and gave it to me for Christmas. Wasn't that nice? Huh. Okay. Yeah, that ain't all. That ain't all. Let me crank this baby up here. Guess what I got today? Oh, yeah, I got a big old box of t shirts. Oh yeah, I got everything from small to triple X for you big fellas. And uh, got a bunch of them. I'm ready to send them out. Now I can go back. I've got, a, I've got a few donations lately. And I can go back about a month. But uh, there was just a few people that didn't get t-shirts from that last round. I either ran out of your size and uh, was uh, waiting to get some more and just busy and I apologize anyone that sent me money that did not receive a t-shirt send me a message I will get you one out I promise anyone else that wants one give us a holler I found I like these these are gold we've never had this color before but this is a small so you lady subscribers out there any female fans anyone wants them for their kids I got some yellow I like these yellow ones I got these in medium. 